Hi, I am the Fun Kids Robot, and today I am talking to Sporticus and Stephanie from Lazy Town. Hi, this is Juliana Moriello. And this is Magnus Kevin. Could you describe Lazy Town for our listeners? So Lazy Town is, is a lot of sound effects, <laughs> a lot of movement like this, and there's a lot of things that you want to try. So I would move, if I would have a group of kids in front of me, I would say, okay, let's do this. <laughs> This is the sport of signature move, mm-hmm. and they would follow me. So you have got a new single out. Can you tell us about it? Luckily, you don't have to buy it, because you can get it online um, at asda.co.uk slash lazytown. But it's an upbeat single, um, hoping to get kids up and moving and walking. And we've got this whole new challenge for kids to keep walking, and you can go online and log in your steps, and we're hoping to get Sporticus all the way to the moon. So um, I, I hope kids listen to it and want to sing along and want to dance along and want to move with us, I guess. And when they move, they can look look at it there. The pedometer. Yes. Right. And uh, they can see uh, how many steps they did and they can put it in. Were you a sporty kid? I was very active. I think um, I was always a really little kid. Um, I wasn't really into sports. Um, and then I found dancing and that was my way of moving. So I would say to kids out there, you know, maybe... The average game out in a field isn't your thing, but there's something out there that you can do that you're going to love. So go out and try new things and just find whatever it is that you love to do, however you want to move. And for me, I love dancing, so that's my way of moving, and it could be something else for you. Yes, I was a very active kid, but <laughs> but I was a little bit, uh, I was never in trouble in my life, uh, not really. When I was very young, I used to run. I lived in a very small town with only six to 800 people, and they were, not everybody had phones. So there was one uh, radio, uh, like a telephone operator in the center of the town that everybody called, and then you need to get the person who lived in Sozo Street and to get to the phone. And the other person was waiting on the line. So you needed somebody quick. So the woman who used to work there, she called out the window, my name, Magnus, and went to this person, to that person, Magnus, 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 to the butcher, to the the, the guy in the pharmacy, and then I was playing somewhere. And then I ran as fast as I could to this the operator, and they gave me a note and said, here's the street name, and I ran to that name. Uh, to that uh, house, knocked on the door and said, Mr. Johnson, there's a phone for you. And he signed it and I got paid. So I was the first running mobile operator, basically, I think. <laughs> and, and so uh, I got in great shape. And I did this maybe many, many times a day. And so uh, I started very young. Did you have any role models when you were younger? You need role models to make a balance in your life. To believe in somebody who's super, always super right is no good. I think nobody's absolutely right and nobody's absolutely wrong so i think you should try to get role models who have different opinion or different style it's hard to choose specific people obviously there are you know people in movies and people actors and shows that i looked up to and wanted to you know follow in their footsteps but then it's also important to think about the real role models that you have which are the people in your life who are you know affecting you and and helping you and that's always your family or whoever it is that you have to really help guide you and and so that's kind of what first came to mind was my parents and my siblings i hear you are making a lazy town movie Could you tell us what it is about? Lazy Town, it is a movie about sport, but there is no sport in it. And so it, it's going to motivate kids to do a lot of movement, but there is no sport necessary in it. So it is an action family movie, but with a lot of movement in it. What is the best thing about being part of Lazy Town? The best part is just seeing the fans and meeting them and knowing that this show is really affecting them and changing their lives and that's great. Would you tell kids never to eat junk food? I have always said like fine to have hamburgers now and then. It's fine to have chocolate now and then. Oh, yeah, no. There's nothing wrong with it. It is basically about to to try to make more healthier choices than unhealthy. Right. Exactly. And, uh, and and try to be healthy. For me health in one word would be balance. What is your favorite part of doing the show? I of course always loved doing the dances and singing along to the songs, so I loved always filming the music videos for the show. And then there would be the episodes where I had to play baseball and football <laughs> and tennis and pretty much every sport, and I'm really, honestly, not a very sporty person. Um, I mean, I love exercising and I love moving, but I'm not always the most coordinated person, so that was always kind of difficult. You I learned mean, to kick a soccer ball, yeah. <laughs> She kicked I the soccer ball so it. hard that he hit the cameraman and it was knocked up. <laughs> But um, there were yeah there were definitely scenes where uh, I had some trouble with that. <laughs>
kind of stuff. Are the characters in Lazy Town based on particular people? Lazy Town is actually based by, um, like you, for example. You are all those characters. You are Spartacus on your best day. When you when you wake up, woke up this morning, you say, I can do anything today. Yes, you're feeling good. Next day, you're maybe like Robbie Rotten. You're like, oh, I can't do this now. Or <laughs> you're like Stephanie. You say, what about if I try this? Mm -hmm. There's always a way. Or what about if I try that? Sometimes you like Siki. You just love a little chocolate. Sometimes you like Trixie. You would say, like, I, I want to follow rules, but sometimes you want to break rules. What can we expect from Lazy Town in the future? There are going to be in uh, Lazy Town cooking show there could, there could be lazy town uh, sport you could uh, teach kids different golf tennis with, with famous athletes it could be Olympics in your garden it could be uh, like a movie of lazy town and it could be uh, a lazy town restaurant I mean uh, there could be whatever and lazy town singing I mean uh, there's a lot of music in lazy town and, and a lot of dancing so it could be easily a whole thing to do there so there's a lot of things that is possible to do I, I believe I, I, I honestly believe that remind us again where we can get the DVD well you can go on to asda.co.uk slash lazytown and you can download the free single Go Step Go. Anybody can listen to it. It's for the next 30 days. So enjoy and keep moving. Yeah, Go Step Go. Thank you for joining me today. Tune in again soon when I'll be joined by another celebrity.